You buy a property, if it hits the 1% rule, you're probably going to make money. That would mean buying this thing for $130,000 and then renting it out for $1,300 a month to a cash-paying tenant or Section 8 tenants work well as well. However, this is much better, man. You only got to pay $99.9 for this thing. Paint over. Fireplace. Kitchen. Upstairs is all carpeted. Really nice sized bedrooms in here. Overall, it's uh, looks like it wouldn't take much to get this house in order. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Want to talk to y'all about Dayton, Ohio, man. This is one of the up and coming markets. This is a solid market for out of state investors, right? You got L.A., you got New York, you got that dirty crap hole Portland, okay? A lot of expensive places like that that are not landlord friendly. A lot of people from those areas are going out to the Midwest, places like Ohio, markets like Dayton to pick up solid deals that far exceed the 1% rule. And this one is one of them, okay? 1125 Wilson Drive, coming to you at 99.9. Now, for those of you that are in the know... Traditionally, typically, historically speaking, generally speaking, you buy a property, if it hits the 1% rule, you're probably going to make money. That would mean buying this thing for $130,000 and then renting it out for $1,300 a month to a cash-paying tenant or Section 8 tenants work well as well. However, this is much better, man. You only got to pay $99.9 for this thing, right? Then you still get that $1,300 in rent, right? And as far as putting it together before you are actually able to put a tenant in there, as you can see, very, very, very small amount of work is needed to get this thing rent ready. You just kind of go in, clean it up a little bit, right? You got pretty simple neutral decor. You got a lot of hardwoods on the main floor, a little bit of carpet action in the upstairs. Maybe you want to pop that carpet out, get yourself some hardwoods, or maybe you want to keep the carpet to keep the sound down and make it nice and cozy. Man, that's up to you, okay? Uh, there's kind of like a split in investor mindsets in regards to carpet. Some people are like, ah, it's the devil. And then some people are like, nah, it's okay in certain situations. I will leave that up to you how you want to handle that. But anyway, you slice it, folks. This is a premier property, solid investor market, okay? From here, what you guys want to do, uh, if you want to tour the property, great. Let me get you in there. You hit me up before 5 o'clock. I will get you into that property same day. Send an email to sales at holdenweiss.com to do that. If you hit me up after 5 o'clock, by the way, uh, that's beer 30, so I ain't get you in there till the following day, right? Then after that, just send me an email with the amount you want to offer. Be like, yo, James, I want to buy 1125 Wilson. I want to pay cash. Cash. My offer is $99.9. Here's my proof of funds. Or, hey, man, I want to finance it, right? And if you want to finance it, that's great. Uh, instead of proof of funds, of course, I will need your pre-approval letter. Uh, if you don't have lenders, don't you worry, man. I got lenders for you guys, okay? It don't even matter to me where you live. You could live in Dayton. I'll get you some lenders. You could live in Cincinnati. I'll get you lenders. You could live in Los Angeles, California. Don't matter to me. Tampa, Florida, New York, New York, that dirty hellhole Portland, wherever you live. I got lenders who are trying to work with investors like you. Private money, conventional, hard money, you name it. We even have lenders that work with foreign nationals. We have seller financing. We got it all, folks. Uh, just send us an email if you need uh, to talk to the lender. Sales at HoltonWise.com. And let's knock this deal out. Down here, looks like it's been uh, dry lock sealed up. It's like a newer furnace, from what I can see. It's a Linux. Very new furnace. Nice setup, all the ducts are connected. A little bit of pecs hanging down here. Pretty solid basement. Nice water heater. Looks like the water heater is newer as well. ductwork here. Going over here. 
Take a look at the electrical box. Not a bad little setup down here. Looks like there is some water on the floor here. Um, but it looks like after checking this out, there's two windows here that would probably have to be blocked in. And it looks like the rain's kind of just seeping through those. But other than that, I would say this is a dry basement. Washer dryer. Mm -hmm. Looks like the furnace is, uh, is a year old. Looks like it was installed uh, January 11th. Looks like a little pantry down here. Let's go upstairs and check it out. Straight into the living room. Looks like in the living room in the, uh, the corner of the living room looks like a little bit of water damage, maybe a one by two foot spot. Take a look upstairs here. Carpeted stairs, little closet. Stairs is all carpeted. Really nice sized bedrooms in here. Little closet. Really nice size of rooms here. Little closet. Really big closet. Wow, that's a large closet in here <laughs> get through here hallway Little bathroom here looks like somebody threw a threw a vanity and a toilet and don't want to see my face here but bathroom set up So it looks like uh, clearly somebody put some stuff on here that's uh, they winterized it, so that's good. Let's go into the third bedroom here. Be a nice little kid's bedroom or office. Got three windows that look out towards the back of the house. A closet here. Um, overall, it's tough. Uh, like it wouldn't take much to get this house in order it's not uh not terrible by any means so let's uh go downstairs here paint over fireplace kitchen down here i'm guessing this is the uh rear of the house. Nice little back porch off the rear of the house. Nice backyard. Detached garage. Let's go out and take a look at that garage while we're out here. Nice little garage here paint over and take a look at the house. Here's the neighboring houses. Nice house here. This is a nice little home. Take a look at this garage here. It goes out into an alleyway. Actually, a pretty nice little paved alley here. Neighboring homes. Garage door. Not terrible. Um, let's take a look in the garage. See how solid it is in here. 
Looks like we got an old car in the garage. Pretty, uh, pretty dry garage, actually. Not terrible. I don't, uh, doesn't look like this car has an engine in it. Looks like it's on that stand over there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.